Hi everyone and welcome to this week's video. Today we are going to look at how to really finish a painting. Painting painterly is one thing, but how do we finish a painting? In finishing a painting there are several things you need to pay attention to. The accuracy of shape, the lighting and the half tones, working big and zooming in to paint details, the physical behavior of the materials, designing texture shapes with unity and variety and the focal area, pushing the forms and the VFX. Let me begin with a quote by Harold Speed. In these early stages keep your tones as simple and empty as possible, but not your edges. These should be completed with all their variety and shape. Note particularly where they are lost, as on the right where the shadows comes against the nose and where sharper as in the upper edge of the shadow on the extreme left. Now lay in the base with a simple flat tone of pure raw umber, noting particularly the shape of its silhouette and where lost and where accented, etc. Now pay attention to what he said. He mentioned the variety of shape, simple flat tones and the shape of its silhouette. He really emphasizes the accuracy of the shapes and the edges. So one of the things we need to pay attention to when we paint details is the accuracy of the shape of the silhouette and their edges. Shapes have a lot of variety and that is something we need to consider when we want to have a finished effect. By keeping the tones simple and the edges complete, we avoid having a smudgy effect of unfinishedness. Let's look at this painting by John Singer Sargent. The first image is the full painting. And in the second one, I have applied a surface blur. You can see that even though the details are eliminated, the silhouette is still apparent. You can see this very clear silhouette. Now, when we look at the black and white version, it really gets interesting. Now that we have eliminated color, all there is are values and edges. And pay attention to the variety of the silhouette and also how the edges of the silhouette are still apparent. And only when we got this big shape going can we add details. You can see the clear shape here and also the variety of edges. So even when, when we don't have details here, it still reads. The values are simple, simplified, and later we can add the details. So how can we apply it to digital painting? In digital painting, this method is largely applied. Having a clear silhouette and then painting inside with the clipping mask. Often using the lasso tool, we can quickly block in this shape. We might also paint in a shape and erase it out or paint over to arrive at the desired shape. Especially in matte painting, we need to work really clean. But even if you just use photo elements in your painting, pay attention to keep the shapes clean and accurate so we can have a good base for lighting and texturing. Let's go back at the painting from before and let's talk a bit about halftones. So we still have a bit of modeling of form here. No textures, but a bit of modeling. And that is really the second step. Before we go on with detailing, we really need to have the big shapes in, um, which is the general lighting of the structure. So we have this modeling of form, the shadow shapes, the light side, shadow shapes, shadow shapes, etc. And you can go on with this for the whole figure. 